Hard to believe they left me nothing. Well, Mother was pretty steamed when you ran off with your Ferelden apostate. I'm still their daughter, their eldest. children have been in servitude, servitude for a year. They should be nobility. If wishes were poppy, we'd all be dreaming. You mean this is real? No wonder I can't wake up. And here I thought that Ferelden you ran off with was a mage, not a jester. Your mother was supposed to marry the Comte de Lancet, and instead she ran off with some Ferelden apostate. You don't get to stay the favorite when you do that. Where is Father's will? If I could just see for myself. It's not here, all right? It was red. It went in the vault. No one needed to look at it again. Did Grandfather mention Mother in his will at all? Our father died when you were still in Pinafore's girl. You can hardly expect me to remember. Sounds like a yes to me. Please, Uncle. We have a right to see it for ourselves. Maybe so. But you won't be seeing the bloody thing. It's still locked up on the estate, and that's long out of my hands. You didn't take your parents' will. It was old news. You think I've been sitting here for 25 years waiting for Leandra to slink back? Who bought the estate, Gavin? Perhaps I could speak to them. Was it the Reinhardts? No one you know. Get used to Lowtown, sister. That's where we're going to stay. So, I hate thinking badly of family. But did Uncle Gamlin seem a little slippery when he talked about Grandfather's will? If he, say, invested money that was meant to be Mother's, do you think he would tell us? Gamlin can't say good morning without lying twice. Mother's been in such a fit of melancholy since Gamlin told her how angry her parents were about Father. She told me she wishes she'd died with Carver. It's like coming here ruined every good memory of her childhood. I wish we could get some of it back. When this Deep Roads expedition comes through, we can buy her home back, move to Hightown. Gamlin told me he gave the estate as payment to some slaver who beat him at dice. Apparently, our ancestral home is now a base for slavers from all over Thedas. How could Gamlin let that happen? I think there's a reason Mother didn't talk about him much. Seriously, though, those scum have no right to our family's things. We should break in there. Get the will for Mother. I already talked to both of them about this. Gamlin said they guard the front entrance well. But Mother gave me her old key. She said it should unlock the cellar. Apparently the sewers run right beneath the house. cheese that was here a year ago. I can't have Mother living in this hole. We've got to get out of here. The 
looks like the dog's trying to tunnel his way out of this hovel. I can't blame him. He wasn't like this in Lothering. I think he misses the open fields. City life not agreeing with you. Poor thing. Maybe he'd be happier if we brought him with us more often. But if he's with us, who'd keep Gamlin's debt collectors away? Take it. I'm sick of what's his name staring and panting. Gamlin, honestly, a Mabari understands what you say. Try using his name. What's wrong with Doc? Real easy to remember. I think this is the cellar door. Let's go in and see why Gamlin lied. Mel Crest. Mother described it, but this is the first time I've seen it. Wouldn't it feel like something to live in a house with this above the door? That's 
the vault. All set. Everything we want to know about our family is inside. This is it. Grandfather's will. Mother needs to see this as soon as possible. I still want to look around. All right, but hurry. So, there's no circle among the Dalish. Any child with the gift of magic is apprenticed to a keeper in another clan if there's no need in her own. That sounds nice. Magic is a gift of the creators. Why wouldn't we use it? It just seems wasteful for humans to lock their mages away where they can't do any good. But you are a blood mage. A Dalish elf here? And Arana Tishan's sister. Nothing to see here. I think I found something of yours. I I had never thought to see this again. Thank you. Keep moving. I hope serendipity is working tonight. I'm just saying, blood's blood and all, but you are taking advantage of my hospitality. It's only fair if you make something of a monthly contribution. You sold my children into servitude. Now you're asking me to pay rent? Uh, maybe just put something towards food. We found the will. He forgave you, Mother. Grandfather left you everything. Here, read it. Uh, ah, I should maybe... To my daughter Leandra and all children born of her. The estate in Hightown and all associated revenues. Check out the part where Gamlin is left only a stipend to be controlled by you. Gamlin, how could you? You're the one who ran away, Leandra. What happened to love is so much more important than money. It is. You didn't even come home for the funeral. The twins were a week old. We all have our burdens. Mine was looking after a life you abandoned. How long was I supposed to wait? I doubt you let the ashes get cold. I took care of father. I stayed. And on his deathbed, all he could talk about was Leandra. Look, sister, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it, but I did. And there's nothing I can do to get it back. I don't expect that, Gamlin. It's enough to know mother and father didn't die angry. I'll petition the Viscount for rights to reclaim the estate. Make a willing. You'll have your house back within weeks. You don't have the coin or standing to even get an audience with the Viscount. You've got to be someone in this city to live in that house again. Then I had better get started.
Why don't you go pick up something at the market? You could use some air. What? Hey! I can't believe Gamelin stole Mother's entire inheritance. I mean, I can believe it. That's the worst part. I could never turn against my own sister like that. You're a better person than Gamlin could ever be. Well, hopefully we'll be out of here soon. You know, when we went to look for that will, I thought we were doing it for Mother, for what she lost. I didn't realize how much it would mean to me to know I had grandparents who didn't hate me. I wish they had lived long enough to see us come home. Home. That's what it is, isn't it? I like saying that. We're not running away again. We're coming home. Are you unhappy here? I wish I could do more for Mother. Carver's dead. It's killing her slowly every day. But maybe if we can reclaim some of what she lost, it will help. I'd do anything to get us back a normal life. What do you think Carver would have made of all this? He would have hated this place. All the sneering nobles. He'd have gotten himself arrested the first day. And he would have wanted in on your Deep Roads expedition. Anything to make a name for himself. Sometimes I still can't believe he's gone. Can you imagine if we'd grown up here? Been nobility? Had grandparents who bought us all liege and silk dresses with lace petticoats? Father was a good man. But Mother gave up so much for him. Of course, if she hadn't worked up the nerve to elope, she probably wouldn't have been able to resist the Templars either. If we'd been born here, you'd be nothing more to me than a name the Circle kept in my file. We're going to make this our home, Bethany. I promise you. I hope so, sister. I'm so very tired of running. I found this when we were at the estate. I thought you should have it. Is it? I think this is Mother's betrothal portrait from when she was supposed to marry the Comte. Look! You can see the ring. Do you like it? I love it. My whole life, Mother's always been so sad and worried. All because of my cursed magic. I always wished there was some way to take that burden off her. It's nice to have a reminder of a time when she still knew how to smile. You're so lucky. Here you're having problems with the bone pit. I can help. Ah, finally someone comes to help me. You look a bit unseasoned, but I hope you'll do. I had to suspend operations. My workers are lost in the mines or have run off. Served me right for hiring Ferelden refugees. I sent others before, but no word. Perhaps they are putting me off. I need someone competent to figure out what is going on. Your first mistake was naming your mine the Bone Pit. The locals named the mine. Those fools say it's cursed. That is why I hire Ferelden's. They may be dull-witted, but they're not superstitious. Mind what you say about my countrymen. I was not referring to you, of course. My workers are a particularly desperate sort. They're lucky to work for me. Few in Kirkwall will hire refugees. Surely the miners had good reason to leave. I am at a loss. No miner has reported in, and no one takes me seriously. The Bone Pit must be dangerous, if people are afraid to venture there. No, nothing like that. 
pay no heed to local superstition. The bone pit is mostly harmless. You said some of your workers are Ferelden. Yes, all of them. An unruly lot, to be sure. What's the reward? I will pay handsomely. The exact amount depends on what perils you face. I'll head there soon. The sooner the better. Each day the mine is not running costs me more than those miners make in a year. The bone pit is just outside the city. Any map will show it. You look like weapons. Buy something. Sebastian, stop this madness. The Chantry cannot condone revenge, Sebastian. It is my right, my duty, to show these assassins there is nowhere in the free marches to hide. This is murder. No. What happened to my family was murder. I wish to speak with you. You've gained quite a reputation with the Red Iron Mercenary Band. I find myself in need of someone with your special talents. I'm guessing you don't mean my ability to juggle small rodents to a legion balance. If that is your greatest skill, then I have been misinformed. I am looking for muscle, not whatever it was you were just describing. A man I sentenced to a life in prison has escaped custody. He's been tracked to an abandoned ruin outside the city. I'd like you to retrieve the fugitive and hand him over to the guard. Why is there such a clamor to catch this man? What has he done? He's escaped. That's reason enough to catch him. We're both intelligent people. There's something in the ruins, isn't there? There is something, yes. There are creatures in the ruins. The guards I sent are ill-equipped to deal with such beasts. Do you know what manner of beast they are? I don't know what they look like. I've never seen one myself. The guards say these things have already torn through a full company of men. It would be easier to seal up the entrance and let the beasts take care of him. I believe in justice, Ferelden, not unbridled slaughter. I will not let prisoners be eaten just because I don't want to get my hands dirty. I'm sure if you send in enough men this time, they'd do fine. No. The more guards who know, the easier it is for this to get out. Those men gossip like old fishwives. I'll take the job. Bring the fugitive in alive, quickly and quietly. Not only will you be well paid, you'll have the gratitude of a city magistrate. Useful for a refugee, wouldn't you agree? Good day to you.
Aveline. Hello, Hawk. Been a while, hasn't it? What? Oh, right. Sorry. It feels like we just talked. I've been keeping an eye on you. Information is one of the few perks of this job. Watch out for Bartrand. He's a son of a bitch. You know I don't like it when you have people watch me. Saved me camping on your doorstep. After what we went through to get here, I... Well, you're no child, but I take care of my friends. The places they have me patrolling, I've got time. Still having trouble? I thought you were past all that. Lately, I don't know. I've been pushed out to some dead patrols. Maybe I stepped on someone's toes. You can be... forceful. My charm, right? I should be able to go where I'm needed. In fact, I might have a job for you. Let me know if you want to do a favor for Kirkwall. Otherwise, I'm here if you need me. Maker knows I could use more satisfying work. Seems like Kirkwall suits you. It has been a challenge. Lots of opportunity. If you're the type the locals want. Are you? If you argue enough, you kind of convince yourself. It's been a year settling in. Are you... all right? You don't need to coddle me. I am where I am. How close I hold my memories is my own business. This must be a very different pace from serving King Kaelin. I love that life. But there's a new king for a new Ferelden. Seems cocksure. But I guess he was there when the Archdemon fell. Can't fault an active hand. It's just one more change, though. The real end for me was Ostagar. You and Carver must have felt something similar. I don't know if that's right to say. I barely knew him. Death on that scale certainly has a finality to it. Sometimes I wonder. The blight is over. You could go back to Lothering. That wasn't home for me. It was just where the Horde pressed us. It wasn't the first village I saw fall. But you don't get used to people losing everything. It's not how I wanted to say goodbye. I'll say that. You can't go home again. That's supposed to be about maturity. It's not the same if you don't have the option. All right, Aveline. You have something worth doing? My patrols may be empty walks in the dark, but there's something big coming up, and I could use you. An ambush, probably for a caravan, although I can't find any shipments that match up. Doesn't matter, though. I women waiting for someone to rob. I'm putting a stop to it, my district or not. Aveline, you've got yourself a partner. I knew I could count on you. They're hidden up Sundermount, remote and rough, but we can make good time with a shortcut this side. And no, you can't run off and do it without me. I trust you, but I have to be there. You're acting on behalf of the Guard. Strangely, this is the best place in the city for working shell games and changing forged coins. Done. Insist if you must, but Viscount Dumas will see no one. If you've news of Seamus, I will relay it to him. Fine. Tell Dumas my scouts have trapped the boy and his canary captor to the wounded coast. I'm taking a full company after them, and when I return, I expect him to make a show of the reward. So many to deal with one Kunari seems... excessive. He may be tell the shot. The winters leave nothing to chance. Get out of my bloody way! Yes, what is it? Looks like I'm not the only one who saw the bounty posting. 
Apparently so. And I am regretting it. As I told the others, Viscount Dumas's son, Seamus, is missing. We suspect he was taken by a Kunari. If you would like to try your hand at securing his safe return, feel free. I have certainly granted no exclusivity to the Winters and their violent approach. The boy will be home soon enough. Declare it if you like, but the reward goes to whomever brings him back safe. A discussion you are welcome to have with the Winters, should you encounter them on the Wounded Coast. <laughs>